In today's video, I'm going to share with you five simple habits that made me my first million dollars. Now, listen, before you click away or you think, you know, maybe this is a little too simple or maybe, you know, I've already watched a few videos like this. I do not give a shit if you're trying to make your first thousand dollars online or you're already a multimillionaire. You're either going to learn what to do in this video or be reminded of what you're not currently doing, because I guarantee there is less than 0.01% of you that are following these five things religiously every single day. So with that intense intro out of the way, these five things, honestly, I followed religiously day in and day out to make my first million dollars. And by the way, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that if you follow these five things, you're just going to start making money out of nowhere. No, you need the right business model. You need the right vehicle. You need to actually find out what way is the best way to make money for me, because we're all different. So I'll go ahead and leave a link down below to the updated 2024 version of the best business model to follow this year. I go ahead and I compare a bunch of different business models out there and I tell you which one is the best one to make $10,000 a month online, because you can pretty much make your first thousand dollars with any business model. There's many, many business models, but what is the best one to make $10,000 a month online in profit consistently? So once you finish watching this video and you know exactly the five habits that you need in order to become a millionaire, well, then you can go ahead and watch that YouTube video and get an understanding of what business model works best for you in your scenario. So the first habit that helped me make my first million dollars is laying out my clothes the night before. Crazy. I know. Like what a shocker. Listen, before you try to downplay some of these stuff, ask yourself, it seems simple. Am I doing it? Because more than likely you're not. Why is it that when you're in the army, you lay out your clothes the night before? So that way you can spring out of bed and you don't have to think about anything. And that's the exact same. I actually have two sets of clothes laid out. I have my gym clothes. So I have, OK, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to train in the morning. And listen, throughout the years, as I became a millionaire, then a multimillionaire and then a deca deca millionaire. I've tried different things. I've tried training at night. I've tried training in the day. I've tried training midday. I've <laughs> sometimes I train twice a day. You know, I mix things up. But to make my first million, I train first thing in the morning every single day. So I would have my gym training stuff. So that way, when I woke up, because when you wake up, it can be cold a lot of the time. You know, I grew up in London, so it's cold, dreary. You don't want to get out of bed and anything that mentally stops you or, or any little piece of extra thinking you need to do in the morning is very dangerous. So that's why I go ahead and lay out your gym clothes the night before. Then when I came back from the gym, I actually had my next set of clothes laid out, which is just my normal day to day working clothes for you. Maybe that's your office clothes, your uh, school clothes, whatever it is. The point is, it is your uniform for the day. You know, whether you have an online business or whatever stage you're at with your career, it's your uniform for the day. I really can't explain how important your morning is and that it's a very fragile time of the day for you. You really need to be careful about making too many decisions first thing in the morning. You know, everyone famously knows that guys like Mark Zuckerberg, um, uh, Steve Jobs, they pretty much wear the same thing again and again every single day. So that way it eliminates decision fatigue. You know, they don't need to think about a what clothes should I wear today? And by the way, I think you should have maybe not that same philosophy, but where it's the exact same thing, but just simple stuff. I just have, you know, if I don't have any meetings outside the house, like for example, for today, I just wear a simple t-shirt, some trousers and some shoes. And that's it. It's just very easy stuff to put together. I don't really need to think about it. So eliminate as much decision fatigue as possible. Lay out your clothes the night before. And trust me, I can tell you, especially if you have a tough time waking up, I feel like even just laying out your clothes is just an anchor to yourself. It's just like you've made a little micro promise to yourself. Yeah, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to train because I've already laid out my training clothes. It's it's like that first commitment point. Now, the next habit that helped me make my first million dollars was planning out today the night before. I don't care at what time of the day you sign off. Maybe for you, you know, you sign off work wise at 6 p.m. and you're not really going to think about work the rest of the night. Maybe you know that you're going to a nice dinner, you're enjoying whatever it is. But the point is, when you finish up with your office work, you know, whether that's you're starting an online business and you know that you're finished with your work blocks for the day, I want you to sign off in whatever way that works best for you. You know, I've tried a bunch of stuff. I've assigned my non-negotiable tasks for the next day, which are just one or two things that I have to do non-negotiables and then three to five nice to haves. But the point is, if I finish those one or two non-negotiables, the entire day is a success in my mind. So I've done that, but not scheduled, you know, hour by hour. And then I've gone to the point in the past where I've scheduled literally hour blocks. You know, I'm doing this every single hour and I follow a 
strict sort of hourly schedule. Things will change for you as time goes on. You'll find the flow that works best for you. You know, these days I just set my one or two non-negotiables and then the nice to haves because my schedule is always moving. And I started my first entrepreneurial venture 10 years ago at this point. So I really trust myself to know how to sort of morph and change my schedule depending on whatever the day can throw at me. So as I said, whether that's written on pen and paper, whether that's in the notes section of your phone or your computer, whatever works best for you. There's no right or wrong answer here. The point is when you finish up your work for the day, go ahead and plan the next day. There's some crazy things that happen while you sleep and there's some crazy things that happen overnight. Your brain is going to sort of mull over and your brain subconsciously is going to start thinking about the problems and problems. I mean that in a positive way, the challenges, the puzzles that you have to go through the next day and how you can do it as efficiently as possible. So plan the following day, the night before. And that leads perfectly into the third thing that helped me make my first million dollars. And that is never, ever wake up and not know what you're going to do in the gym as a workout. And that kind of ties into planning the night before the night before I would actually plan my workout. Now, these days in the morning, I do a lot of tennis. I do boxing. You know, I have my coaches, my one on one coaches. So they kind of lay out my full protocol. I don't need to do too much thinking there. But yeah, really, it's very, very important that the night before you already know what you're doing in the gym. Once again, this all kind of ties into the fact that your brain is going to be stimulated and it's going to start thinking, OK, I need to do this tomorrow. I need to do that tomorrow. And it's going to start working in the background. And in my experience, it's not going to be a thing that keeps you up or you have a tough time sleeping. It's just there and your mind's kind of working in the background to already start, as I said, solving some of these problems, thinking about the workout, how things are structured, et cetera, et cetera. So as I said, night before or at a minimum, at least when you wake up in the morning, plan out your workout. Just make sure you don't go in the gym. You're in the gym. You're looking around, you know, oh, what do I do? Because training takes willpower and that's already zapped half of your willpower for the next day. Now, the fourth thing, and this was massive for me and still to this day is massive, is turn your phone on airplane mode. I actually know which one of my friends turned their phone on airplane mode because half the time when I message them, it doesn't show as delivered. It just shows it's sent. And for me, airplane mode is a very good sign that someone respects their time. It's a very good sign that someone understands that, listen, I'm going to affect the world. I don't want the world to affect me. Now, if you're in a line of work, let's say, for example, you're a real estate agent where you need to be on the phone, talking to people 24 seven, this, that. Like, I'll be honest, I'm on calls maybe hours a day on my phone, talking to my leadership groups inside of my different companies. But obviously, I'm in a fortunate position where I've been running my businesses for so long where I kind of decide when we have the phone call. But as I said, I empathize that for some people, they do need to, you know, they really do make money from their phone and being uh, accessible quite often and, you know, really being accessible to other people. But for the people that aren't, protect your time, put your phone on airplane mode. And, you know, even if you do make your money from being accessible at a certain point, let's say even just for your workout, just your workout alone, you know, let that 30 minute, 45 minute, 60 minute, 90 minute, whatever it is, let that time be your peaceful time. Put your phone on airplane mode, relax, leave it, give 100% to what you're doing. So, yeah, I remember uh, probably the first few years that I started my, my first serious business. I had my phone on airplane mode half the day and I actually had two phones. And these days I have definitely a, a lot more than two phones. You know, these are just some on my desk. I have quite a few more in my vaults. But back then I had two phones and you could even do like a an iPod touch in an iPhone. And I used to put my phone on airplane mode and anything else that I needed, for example, Audible, uh, Spotify while I was working out, uh, even access to Uber. I would just have that on the second phone or, you know, as I said, you could do an iPod touch or whatever it is that works best for you. And I would just have that as my additional thing where essential services I could have on that. And then the other phone could just be put away. And once I was done with my serious work, the non-negotiables for the day, then I could access my other phone. So by the way, the whole idea of airplane mode is really just protecting your time, safekeeping your time and making sure that you are your priority. And that's really what I did when it came to social media, advertising platforms. Obviously, the first real business that I had was an advertising agency that I had for six years. And, you know, I always used to tell people around me, you know, even in uh, movies, the drug dealers will say, you know, never use your own product. I always viewed social media and the Internet like that. Like I want to be someone who's benefiting from this and not someone else benefiting from my attention. And that's why turning your phone on airplane mode. That's why limiting your social media use is just so, so incredibly important. Now, the last habit that helped me make my first million. And I know this sounds simple, 
but I know that 99% of you guys don't do this. Drink one liter of water first thing in the morning and make sure that that water is by your bedside or somewhere in your room so you don't procrastinate because this is something to this day I still struggle with. Uh, for me, just drinking water is just so boring, so tedious. That's literally the reason for one of my company's big day where we have a line of hydration products, whether that be our can or our electrolyte sachets. But yeah, the point is drink water first thing in the morning and also make sure preferably to put an electrolyte packet in there. I'm not even trying to plug my product because it's sold out and I don't really know when it's going to be back in stock. So whether it be a big day electrolyte sachet, uh, one other company or what I used to do back in the day is just a little sprinkle of sea salt. And sometimes I'd squeeze some lemon in there as well. But the point is, as you're drinking, you know, so much water first thing in the morning, just try to get a little bit of salt in. So that way you actually retain the water because a lot of times you'll drink the water but because you've lost so much sweat. People don't realize how much sweat and salt you lose while you're sleeping, whether it's warm, whether it's cold, it doesn't matter. You still sweat a lot while you sleep. So it's really important just to get a bit of sodium in the morning, people don't realize the water that we drink these days, they've stripped out all of the minerals and everything from it. So as I said, drinking water is not enough, you have to remineralize it. And as I said, whether you want to use an electrolyte sachet or literally just some cheap sea salt and sprinkle that in there, the point is first thing in the morning, make sure you are hydrating properly. And as I said, I know this sounds so simple, but up until a year ago, and literally creating a brand new company just to make a product that fits my needs, I even struggled with this. So that's really the fifth and final thing. Well, actually, you know, what? I'm going to say one more thing about this. Most of you guys are banging so many coffees first thing in the morning. You're, ha you know, you're having a double espresso, a venti, cold brew, blah, blah, all this shit that won't do anything. You need to hydrate first. You need to drink first. You need to just drink some water first, get some fluids in your system. So ladies and gentlemen, those are the five simple habits that made me a millionaire. And by the way, I want to be very honest with you guys. I have to revisit these habits all the time. And even my life, because obviously, as you go further and further along your journey, you know, each phase of your life demands a different thing from you. There's, um, you know, in your free time, go watch, go watch the Jeff Bezos interview he did in 2023, where he basically broke down his life. And a lot of it, he said is, oh, I wake up and I just kind of like hang around for a couple hours. I just read newspaper, I eat breakfast, and I go for a walk, like I just float. And I think also he woke up at eight or 9 a.m. Like even me, I wake up at 9 a.m. because I'm on call some sometime until two or three o'clock because most of my employees are in America. So with time zone issues living in Dubai, you know, I'm not the perfect ideal spitting image of wake up at 5 a.m. club, wake up at 6 a.m. club. I am doing the thing that makes sense for my current stage in my career and my life. And you are going to need to adapt and mold and do the same for you. You know, there was points in my life I used to wake up at 5 a.m., used to wake up at 6 a.m. But no matter how my schedule changes or the traveling or this or that, the one thing that remains true, I must continue and follow these five habits that actually helped me make my first million to make sure that I sustain it. So ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I hope you enjoy this video. And as always, I'm watching from afar and I'm rooting for you.